today we're at the Puma TT 2100 SYYB. And so what are we doing today? Well, we're solving a problem for you with this part right here. If you wanna know exactly what it is, make sure you stick around and Jesse's gonna let you know. In the meantime, we have two turrets, two spindles, and we're gonna be using all of them. We got turning, we got milling, we got lots of chips, two ops, no hands. Let's get to it. All right, so first up, we're gonna rough the parts on both the left and the right spindle. We're using a CNMG 432 Kenna Metal New Grade and Chip Breaker. It's really a good balance between toughness and wear resistance. In fact, go check out Tyson's video where he really breaks it down, shows you different depths of cut, and really shows you why it's such a great insert. Next, we're gonna come up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish. If you notice on the upper turret, I'm using a V-style insert to get in there and cut out a relief. All right, so now you can see on the right spindle, we're milling our profile. We really wanna give a shout out to Preben Hansen of Platinum Tooling. He provided us with these Hematech Live tool holders. I was told they were tanks and so far I am not disappointed. As you can hear, super solid, nice and rigid. We're using a Kenna Metal Harvey 3 half inch to rough everything out. We're gonna have to come back in with a smaller end mill. We'll step down to a quarter inch Harvey TE1. That allows us to get in there and get, uh, get the tight corners in the finished profile. Now we're gonna switch to the upper turret. We're gonna go ahead and drill. This really shows the versatility of the machine. I can use that upper turret to machine on the left or the right, and I can use the lower turret to machine on the left or the right. All right, now we're coming in with that Harvey 1 TE quarter inch. Again, it's a smaller end mill that allows us to get in those tight corners on the finished profile. If you haven't figured it out already, this is a straight shank shell mill arbor. We received a lot of messages from people that purchased shell mills like this Dodeca Mini from our online store that had small machines like this Tormach 770 or a Bridgeport manual mill that has a 5C collet spindle and they realized they didn't have any way to mount the shell mill to their machine. So we designed a straight shank arbor to solve this problem and we're gonna manufacture a limited run and sell them on our store for $29.95. Now this arbor is gonna come with a round shank but if you're using something like this side lock holder, you can easily machine a flat on the side. Now for the people that purchased a three inch shell mill, we're also gonna come out with an arbor to fit those as well. And if you're having a similar issue like this one, let us know in the comments what problem you'd like to see us solve. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna machine our 3 8 24 thread. One of the cool things about these turrets is it's 12 stations, but each station has a half index. So as you can see, I got one tool block and I'm doing two different operations, boring and threading. Now you might notice that I'm pulling that threader out. I did that so I could pull the chips out of the part. I don't wanna pack them in there. Now you might see a little chip wrapped up around there, but when I'm running coolant, it'll blow that chip right off the tool. All right, so now we're on our final operation. We'll come in, we'll chamfer up, and we'll be done. All right, now this is gonna be pretty cool. We gotta get that part out of that sub, so we're gonna come in with our robot arm right here. We're gonna come down, we're gonna grab it, and we're gonna drop it on the conveyor side. Arm comes down, basket comes down. It's gonna move my A-axis forward. The ejector is going to spit the part in the basket. It's going to draw back. And now it's going to sit on the conveyor. And I can have finished parts coming out on the right-hand side of the machine. Now I have an open chuck, so I can go down. I can grab the part on the left spindle, pull out more material. All right, now I've pulled out enough stock to machine another part. I'm going to go ahead and part it off, and we'll start the whole process over again.
All right, so here we are. We got our finished adapter, more in the basket, more on the way. And the great thing about the TT2100 is that you can spend less time taking parts and transferring them over to other machines and more time working on your CNC expert profile. So make sure you get over there, update with all the cool projects that you're doing, where you can go to a platform by machinists, for machinists, get certified, connect with other machinists, machine shop owners, and potential customers. And if you could do us a favor, we'd really love to hit a million subs by the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and go ahead and drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you'd like to see us machine in the future. We'll see you all next time.